think a lot of people's attention over the last few years has been focused on the transformational potential of things like driverless cars, robots, and other forms of automation. And while these technologies will undoubtedly disrupt industries and change the way we live, I think AI has flown quietly under the radar until bursting into the public consciousness in a big way with the release of ChatGPT. Much of the attention recently has focused on its potential to be used as a tool to cheat in schools and universities, and a fear that it will lead to a generation of students who don't know how to write or think for themselves. There are also lots of people who fear the number of jobs that will rapidly become obsolete as this technology evolves. While there is some merit to these views, as we stand on the cusp of this technological revolution, I think it's important to ask ourselves how can we harness this new technology to create a better future for ourselves. In this video, I'm going to discuss four questions. Firstly, what is ChatGPT and what can it do? How does ChatGPT change the role of a teacher? How does ChatGPT change what learning looks like for students? And if you stick around to the end, I will discuss whether I think ChatGPT will spark an education revolution. But before I get into that, let me take you back to a very important date, May 11, 1997. It probably doesn't stand out to you as a particularly significant date. Quick Google search shows me that apparently the Broadway musical Play On ended its run at the Brooks Atkins Theatre after 61 performances. But if I scroll down just a little bit further, I'm presented with a seemingly insignificant event that's listed on this website, oddly enough, as part of sporting history. On this day, the world watched on in awe as a seemingly impossible feat was accomplished. It was the day Deep Blue, a computer designed by IBM, defeated the reigning world chess champion, Garry Kasparov. This was the first time that a machine had ever beaten a human at chess a game which had long been considered to be the ultimate test of human intelligence. The match between Deep Blue and Kasparov wasn't just a showcase of the progress that had been achieved in the world of computers, it was a glimpse into the future of artificial intelligence and its potential to outsmart and outperform humans in complex cognitive tasks. It was a turning point in the history of AI, proving that machines could match human intelligence while also raising serious questions about its potential to surpass us. This of course wasn't the first time that a new technology has stunned the world and sent shockwaves of intrigue and panic up the spine of civilization. From the Gutenberg printing press, which revolutionized the dissemination of knowledge and information, to the steam engine, which transformed transportation and manufacturing, to the internet, which changed the way we communicate and access information. These innovations have had a profound impact on the world and the way we do things. We should constantly be asking ourselves what technologies will emerge that continue to change the way we work and learn. And this is where ChatGPT comes in. So to explain what it does, I thought I would ask ChatGPT to describe itself to us. And this is what it said. ChatGPT is an advanced language model developed by OpenAI. It uses deep learning algorithms to generate human-like responses based on the input it receives. ChatGPT can understand and respond to various types of questions and provide information on a wide range of topics, including but not limited to general knowledge, trivia, current events, and more. Additionally, ChatGPT can generate creative writing, like poetry and fiction and perform various language tasks such as translation and summarization. ChatGPT can assist in customer service, provide entertainment and help with research, among many other use cases. How does ChatGPT change the role of a teacher? Straight off the bat, I'll address the elephant in the room. Can technologies like ChatGPT replace teachers altogether? I'd say no. Anyone who thinks that some form of AI tutor could be used to completely replace the teaching profession probably hasn't set foot in a classroom in a little while. I'd like to see an AI computer keep a room full of children engaged in learning for six to eight hours every day. And if you prescribe to the model that AI will fuse with technologies like Neuralink to turn schools into some matrix-esque environment where information is downloaded into your brain, well, that's not really a world I want to think about. But let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be a cool topic to dive into with a video. Ultimately, the role of a teacher is complex, and I don't think teachers will be replaced by robots anytime soon. But the role of a teacher is filled with a number of tasks that could be enhanced, streamlined, or replaced by language-based AIs. And that's what I'll explore here. Much like when the internet first emerged as an everyday tool, ChatGPT can expand the knowledge and expertise of teachers. It can quickly summarize subject matter and synthesize the most important information on any given topic. This allows teachers to become confident in delivering lessons on a wider range of topics. It can confirm and reinforce what they already know and ultimately help them put their ideas together. There are other simple tasks that ChatGPT can help teachers with, things like generating questions and content for exams that with little effort will create a content-specific set of questions 
targeted directly at the needs of their students. It can also be used to automate many of the administrative duties of teachers in schools, such as scheduling, writing emails, and even in the future, probably marking. Ultimately though, it's a tool that can be used to unlock the creativity of teachers and complete tasks that are far more complex than these low level administration duties. It can be used in several ways to help improve how teachers operate in the classroom. More than just summarizing topics for lessons, ChatGPT can help generate ideas for topics to cover in a unit of teaching. It can then help generate ideas for activities to run in a lesson and allow teachers to focus on specific skills rather than just content alone. It can also be used to help teachers differentiate for the range of students in their class. A teacher might create a resource and then get ChatGPT to rewrite it using simpler or more advanced language to meet the needs of their students. The possibilities are quite endless and is really only limited by the creativity of teachers as more of them start to engage with the platform. Technologies like this push schools and teachers further away from outdated models where teachers were seen as simply a disseminator of information, filling the brains of students with the elusive nectar of knowledge. And it allows them to focus on more important and subtle elements of teaching, like building relationships with their students, investing in their own education to develop more effective teaching practices, both of which will ultimately allow them to develop deeper and more complex capabilities in their students. How does ChatGPT change what learning looks like for students? Now let's look at how ChatGPT can be used by students to improve the way they learn. The elephant in the room for this one is that students can use ChatGPT to write essays for them. And if used in the wrong way, this technology will do a disservice to students and negatively impact their learning. But the same thing could be said of the internet. Students can use the internet in a number of ways to plagiarize essays, take shortcuts or cheat. But that doesn't mean we suggest disconnecting the internet in every school. Schools have to accept that these tools exist. Trying to ban them or simply staying quiet about them and hoping that students don't use them is a recipe for disaster. If students are forced to use these technologies covertly, it will inevitably lead to cheating and other unethical uses. Schools should embrace the technology and help students learn how to use it effectively and ethically to enhance their learning. So how can it do that? Firstly, it will dramatically increase students' ability to complete any task that involves researching and summarizing information. It can be used to help research topics and generate reputable sources of information very, very quickly. This should make the task of preparing to write an essay much easier. And to varying degrees, schools and teachers probably need to come to grips with how much ChatGPT will take over the role of actually writing essays. This mirrors the battle that's gonna go on in the corporate world of how much of the content we view is actually written by humans. So it's not a problem that's isolated to education. It will simply make the world reevaluate the importance of writing as a human skill. In the short term, I think it's important that students learn how to write and organize their thoughts without plagiarizing or letting ChatGPT do all the heavy lifting. It'll be a great challenge for teachers and schools to help students distinguish between a tool that is being used to help them learn and a tool that's being used to replace their learning. Beyond its use to generate writing, ChatGPT also has massive utility as a personal tutor for students. If a student has a question about what they're learning, rather than waiting for the teacher to come to them in class or emailing them at nighttime if they have a question, ChatGPT is a 24 seven tutor who can answer most questions that students are likely to have about the content they're learning. This is an amazing and revolutionary tool which really can't be understated. While basic access to the internet performs this function in a simple way, the complete the complexity of the questions that ChatGPT can successfully answer is much greater than a regular Google search. Similar to how teachers can use ChatGPT to make quizzes for their classes, students can use it to generate their own practice tests or flashcards that they can use in their own revision. On top of this, students can use it to provide feedback on their work. Instead of asking ChatGPT to write the essay for them, or to rewrite their own essay and fix all the mistakes, students can ask ChatGPT to take on the role of a teacher and give them feedback by pointing out any factual errors, points they've missed, and help them to correct any errors in spelling, grammar, or expression. Having access to a personal AI tutor will completely transform and expand the way students learn across the world, both in and out of school. So now let's get to the fundamental question. Will ChatGPT spark an education revolution? Whenever I try to conceptualize change in the education system, I tend to think of a continuum. On one end, you've got a model of education that is based on standardization and conformity. This is the stereotypical description that is sometimes Sometimes used to describe education systems that rely heavily on standardized tests and standardized curricula. On the other end is an education system that is completely focused on individualized learning, where every student is learning something slightly different and targeted directly at their ability level, aptitude, and interests. The most applicable examples of this might be homeschooling or other models of education like Montessori schools. So Ken Robinson might describe this in terms of an industrial model of education on one end, where everyone is treated the same, educated in batches, and graduate with a similar skill set and knowledge 
knowledge base. Versus an agricultural model at the other end, where learning is treated as an organic process in which the needs of each learner is met and the conditions are created where growth is inevitable. The challenge in this model is that the ideal conditions that allows growth for each student is different. This becomes a difficult process for teachers to juggle and schools to manage. In these models, it becomes difficult to compare one student to another and therefore provide an easily quantifiable grade at the end of it. Depending on the part of the world you're in, education systems will fall somewhere on this continuum, probably closer to the standardized side than the individualized side. And whenever education systems undergo reform, they are pushed in one direction or the other. My fear with ChatGPT is that schools and administrators will take a pessimistic approach where they try to eliminate AI tools from the school environment. In this situation, the best case scenario is that there is no effect on the education system and they simply miss out on the opportunity to improve the experience for both teachers and students. What really worries me is that ChatGPT could be used to justify a massive push towards a side of standardization and a narrowing of what schools aim to assess and therefore teach. Currently, there are two main ways of assessing students learning in schools, exams, and essays. There is some nuance to this depending on the subject and the school, but virtually in any school system, these will be the two main modes of assessment. Schools could look at essays and say, well, students can just get ChatGPT to write their essay for them. So essays are no longer an effective form of assessing students. Therefore, we're just gonna to move to a model where we only use exams. And I think this would be a disaster, one that's entirely possible if decision makers approach this in the wrong way. The real potential of ChatGPT is to launch schools in the other direction. Schools could adopt a view that like the internet itself, ChatGPT really diminishes the importance of a school system or a curriculum that's built around the acquisition of knowledge. This could completely reshape what schools are focused on. If so much of what schools cover currently aim to teach can be quickly generated or summarized by AI models, which students are taught to use effectively and ethically, then what do schools focus on? Well, this is where schools can really adopt the agricultural model discussed earlier and truly individualize learning around the needs of each student. And guess who'd be there to make that task easier? You guessed it. ChatGPT. Acting as an individual tutor for students and a productivity assistant for educators, the task of truly individualizing learning becomes much more realistic. If there comes a day when essays are no longer a valid form of assessment, then I would argue that you should also be seriously rethinking the weight that schools place on exams. This could open schools up to really rethinking how they assess students and therefore what students learn. Instead of going to a standardized exam model, Schools could shift towards a portfolio-based model of assessment where they incorporate practical assessment methods that focus on more authentic skills and capabilities. Instead of schools being centered around knowledge and subjects, they could be focused on developing skills and capabilities and insert those skills and capabilities into any context of knowledge. Assessment methods like impromptu presentations or practical assessments where students are authentically tested on their ability to solve problems, collaborate, be creative. Basically, school could shift its focus to all the things that AIs can't easily automate. And in this way, to happen, then yes, I would call this an education revolution. Will this happen? Only time will tell. As with most things, I think the answer is probably somewhere in between these two extremes. The next few years will present schools, teachers and administrators with some serious questions about what's important in the world of education. Like nothing before it, AI technology will shake the foundation of education to its very core. But I, for one, think that that is long overdue. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you next time.